Tom. Beautifully taken. Drabid takes a magnificent slip catch. We saw him in Toronto in uh, the DG tournament there, taking some magnificent catches in slip, and that's a gem. Well, the batsman saw the ball turn, watch it, and he, he waits to sort of run it off, but it, it comes off the top edge of the bat. He's trying to run it off the blade, and it comes off the top edge, and he anticipated fantastically well. That great success for India, 32 for one. Folded. That is across the line, that is not a very good shot. Puttar Dipinar, who has done so well, a few shots of indiscretion, but a good debut ending in poor fashion. He won't be pleased with that. Indeed he won't. He had one waft early on against the quicker bowlers. And maybe, again, that pressure we were talking about, that just runs aren't flowing, and so he decided he'd have a go across the line. Missed it, but Josie didn't miss. And so away goes Buta Dipanar, 17 from 53 deliveries, and South Africa, 39 for three. Is this a bat pad? It is indeed. Up goes umpire Sharp's finger, and South Africa have lost their captain, Hansi Kornir, to a bat pad at Silly Midoff. And now they really are in desperate trouble at 45 for four. Joshi strikes, little inside Nick, onto the pad. Up it goes, comfortable catch to bat pad, no problem at all. Umpire Sharp says, you're on your way. So the captain of South Africa departs for two, and South Africa in deep trouble at 45 for four. He roads, who immediately starts with the reverse sweep and is caught. He's caught at what is a short third man, but suddenly finds himself being a short fine leg when Jonty Rhodes decides to reverse sweep and hits it straight down his throat. Well, I've never believed in this shot. I don't think there's a percentage in it, especially when you've got a man fielding right there. And straight into the basket. So John T. Rhodes departs. One to his name of four. South Africa really struggling now. 85 for six. John T. Rhodes, not having a look at him, decides to attack straight away and pays the price. wickets he's got and another good catch by Dravid he took uh, the first one which was a diving effort to his right to get rid of Herschel Gibbs and that went quickly as Pollock played forcefully at it and South Africa 85 for seven Josie strikes again Pollock another one not getting used to the pace of the pitch just a little bit of turn Good catch at slip. So, South Africa now deeper in trouble. Pollock gone for naught, 85 for 7. 38th over is over, 89 for 7.